Hello everyone, this is Dalster and welcome to another video. And in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about the recent um, footage that they showed in AEW regarding CM Punk. And there's been a lot of people talking about it the, this week and I just wanted to, you know, express my thoughts and what I think about it. So in case you guys don't know, um... CM Punk was in AEW before he went to WWE, and, well, again, just to go back to WWE, because he was in WWE before, but, you know, the whole thing that happened between him and Vince and Triple H, and so he went to AEW, and it seemed like things were going okay between him and everyone else, but it turns out that uh, CM Punk was not happy there and he ended up quitting and recently um the young bucks which you guys see right here on the left side they're not twins by the way <laughs> they're i think one of them's like older than the other one um they recently showed a footage of of cm punk and jungle boy which is uh, Jack Perry. If, for those that don't know, Jack Perry is the son of Luke Perry, which if you guys don't know who Luke Perry is, he is the uh, guy from that played Dylan McKay in Beverly Hills 90210, which I actually watched. And Jungle Boy supposedly was not happy with CM Punk, and I guess he was trying to start an argument, and then CM Punk pushed him, and then supposedly um, CM Punk I guess he went or charged at Tony Khan, who was like the owner, the guy in charge of AEW, All Elite Wrestling. And he didn't do anything. He just like like said that, oh, this is ridiculous. I quit. And supposedly, um, Tony made an announcement on AEW that he was afraid of his life, that he had to fire CM Punk and... All this stuff, and at first I thought I believed in him, like Tony, because uh, CM Punk has a habit of quitting. <laughs> but then CM Punk recently did this interview for a guy named Ariel. It's like a two-hour video, but it's definitely worth a watch. I, I watched it when I was actually listening to it, listening to it while I was at work, and it was a lot, a lot more. It it was like eye opening than I I had thought because I actually used to be a really big fan of CM Punk when he was in ECW. That's the first time that I ever saw him. I I know he was in Ring of Honor before, but um, I've heard some things about him and supposedly he left TNA. And, um, I was a really big CM Punk fan when he was in ECW, but when he was in WWE, once he started doing the best in the world gimmick, I just kind of gave up on him. And I just was never a fan of his. I don't know why, I just never really got into the whole best in the world gimmick. And then when he left WWE, I just thought he was a quitter and just wasn't a really nice person, but... After what happened with the footage in AEW, I definitely, like, gained a little bit of respect for him, because... Let's just face it, AEW's, like, not doing so great. Um, they've been... I don't know if you guys watch wrestling, but AEW, they just do anything they can to bash at WWE, and... I know I watch WWE all the time, but AEW, I just don't like the way they're always, like, talking about how how WWE is awful and that they just do anything to trash them. And I'm just like, can't you guys just focus on your own wrestling for for one week or something? Like, it's, it's like they always got to bash WWE every single time. And it's like, hello, this is a wrestling show, not a wrestling soap opera. <laughs> But when they put the footage there, um, CM Punk has is already in WWE currently, and he's not in AEW anymore. And the fact that they're still talking about it, it's like, 
it's been a couple months. You would think that they would move on, but I don't know. I just thought it was very childish of them to do that. I mean, watching that almost two-hour video of CM Punk, he, he definitely looks like he matured a little bit. He's a lot more, well, not a lot, but maybe a little bit. I still have my doubts about him. Um, he's definitely matured a little bit, but... And I really feel like maybe he was, he just had a lot of issues. Because I know that when he was a, a teenager, his his family, they were very greedy and that they stole his money and a bunch of other stuff. He doesn't really have an, a relationship with his parents, which probably ended up impacting him once he went to WWE. And then, you know, the during the last years, he left WWE and the whole messy situation and then he went to AEW a couple years later and then he left AEW and it kind of got me thinking maybe maybe CM Punk was right because I've noticed with a lot of wrestlers in that are currently in WWE that were once in AEW you know Cody Rhodes Jade Cargill um Andrade and I supposedly I heard that Alistair Black and maybe Buddy Murphy might be heading back to WWE. Oh, and Ty Dillinger also. He 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 went to AEW because things didn't work out with WWE. But now he's back in WWE, and it's like like I keep seeing all these people leaving AEW, and I'm just like, well, at this point, I think Tony Khan's just really killing his product by not really managing well enough and I kind of agree with everyone on this I think that when I saw the footage I just thought it was very childish of them very I, I don't know if CM Punk has is able to file a lawsuit or anything but I mean if I were him I would just file charges because that's just really disrespectful and plus he's not even in the company anymore I, I personally think that AEW, they really need to get their crap together and just stop being so overdramatic with everything. And Because I think the more wrestlers that are starting to leave there, the more I, it, it's starting to get noticeable that they just don't seem to care about, you know, their what the audience really wants. I just feel like they just care about their egos and stuff, which it could be the reason why Cody Rhodes left. At first, I thought Cody left because of CM Punk, but the more I think about it, the more it, it kind of makes sense. I think what ha what ended up happening was that I think the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega, and I think maybe Adam Page, they just they got so much power, and you know, the more power you have, the more problems there are gonna be and we've seen this with a lot of people with lots of power they always seem to abuse it and then having to take advantage and or sometimes they would just hurt everything around them and I think I just don't like that they showed this footage I think it was very stupid of them they should have known better and I think CM Punk was telling the truth because if you listen to the interview he described it in a way like Samoa Joe and then like, Samoa Joe was trying to, like, stop the fight, and then CM Punk kind of, like, I think he pushed Jungle Boy, but Jungle Boy was like, nah, nah. But, I mean, it could be possible that Jungle Boy is just a really spoiled brat. I mean, his father was from a really popular show back in the day, so I wouldn't be surprised. I just think it's very childish of them, and they should have never shown this footage. I think it, and I think it's just gonna sting in the back for them at this point i'm just like really fed up with aew always like trying to make the WWE look bad and just not focusing on themselves they should be focusing on themselves and doing better from what i heard they don't sell tickets which kind of sucks for them but i mean it is what it is but i don't know i just i really don't like this move that they did I think that AEW, they really need to focus on themselves and stop focusing on the past and focus and stop focusing on their egos too because I think the more they do something like this and they bash WWE, 
And I've heard a lot of people commenting saying that, oh, AEW, they, in order to get ratings, they always have to bash WWE. It's true, though. I mean, I don't even watch AEW because I just think it's, I just don't like it. And I think, in a way, they're kind of like crybabies, but I don't know. I just don't think they believe in themselves. And I think eventually, I think, I don't know who I heard it from, but I think Tony Khan is a really awful manager. I think he should have, I think someone needs to step in and take his place because, well, someone that's not a wrestler, like, for example, we don't want the Young Bucks be, to be take Tony Khan's place. Heck no. But I just think he's, he's not a really good boss, and I think at this point, I'm like, what, why even bother watching AEW if they just complain about everything? And they spend their entire TV whatever they can to fire shots at WWE, which I think is ridiculous. But, I mean, WWE is not... There are also no Saints either, but... I mean, I don't know. I do find them more interesting because they're, it's more like... Like, there's more of storytelling and, you know, some good wrestling moves. And everyone seems to be getting a chance now that Triple H has been taking over the company, but... I don't know. I mean, I would like there to be a little bit more resting, though, in WWE. But what do you guys think? Are you guys okay with the uh, footage of AEW? Or are you guys, like, just fed up at this point? You're like, I'm done with AEW. You know, I just, whatever they do, I'm just done with them. Because I just think that AEW's, like... At this point, I think they're just gonna, they just shot themselves in the foot. And they're just not... They're not doing so great, and they really gotta stop talking about WWE and just move forward. You know, focus on their own wrestlers, because I think the more they keep talking about it, the more likely a lot more wrestlers are gonna get out of that company. And it could end up being like the WCW. I mean, Tony Khan's just not a good manager, and I think... Maybe he just was over dramatic about CM Punk. Uh, at first, I kind of believed in Tony, but when I heard that interview from CM Punk, it just it just shows how much of a coward and spoiled brat Tony Khan is. Like he just doesn't seem to care about you know being a manager. He just simply cares about being their friend. Like oh, I want to be your friend to all his wrestlers and employees and it's like no man you have to start really putting in the effort and be a manager because like a lot of wrestlers in AEW they just the more you let them off the hook the more it's gonna end up a disaster which which is why CM Punk ended up causing such such a huge ruckus over there but you know now that he's gone he seems a lot more peaceful and and stuff but I don't know. I mean, I think at this point, AEW just needs to make changes. And if they don't make changes, it's, it's not going to work out. But let me know what you guys think of this. I personally think it it, it was really stupid of them to show the footage. I, I, I honestly think putting it as part of a storyline for FTR, which in case you don't know who FTR is, um, they are the revival. I think it's just very stupid and doesn't make any sense at all. And... I think if they just keep it up like this, they're they're most likely going to shut down in a couple months or maybe a year or so. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.